This is Rails in Focus, a series of Rails tips and best practices by the Rails community for the Rails community. I'm your first host, but there'll be more videos, more tips, and more hosts. So be sure to subscribe to this channel to get notified when new episodes drop. Hi there, Rails programmers. I'm Emmanuel Hayford. Today, we are uncovering a Rails feature that could change the way you work with your apps. Stay tuned as we dive into delegated types. Rails has a few native ways to emulate object-oriented inheritance in our databases. For a long time, we've become accustomed to single-table inheritance and the classic polymorphism. Delegated types was introduced in Rails 6.1. You can think of delegated types as multi-table inheritance, where each model corresponds to its own database table and can be queried and created individually. Among the problems that delegated types seek to solve are cases in STI with attribute diversion, where if, say, a message model has a subject attribute, but a comment model does not, the subject attribute will still exist for the comment, thereby wasting space and potentially causing confusion. So let's see how delegated types work in Rails. We are going to build a social networking app with a post model. A post can be either a video or an article. For this, I've prepared a few things in advance. I want to draw your attention to the migration files that I have for each. So here we have a migration for our post. On this line, Line five, you can see that we have T references postable. And you can notice that it's a normal polymorphic reference here. So we have polymorphic option set to true, and then it cannot be null. Next, we have the articles migration, which has a text attribute called content. And then we have a videos migration, which has a string attribute called URL. Next, we'll move to the models themselves. So here you can see we have an article model and then a video model and then our original post model. You can see that in the post model, we have a delegated type method, postable, which accepts types of article and video. Inside of the article model, we have include postable and inside of the video model, we have include postable as well. This postable is a concern. And the concern is that if any model includes this postable concern, we should attribute it with has one post as postable and then touch true. Otherwise for the article model, we could just comment this out and then have it look like this. But this is not what we want because we want to refactor. So we will have include postable and then we can get rid of this. We can do the same for the video model. So I can get rid of this and we will know that every article and every video will have has one post as postable. I have a seeds RB file that I set up earlier to generate some articles and some videos. From here, you can see that from line 16, we are generating five articles and then we're giving them the titles of something like content of article and then the number of the article and then for videos we are creating three items here and then we are adding some urls that we generate and then slap it on the urls for the videos so to run this i'll go into my terminal and then i'll type rails db seed this will give us a bunch of articles and videos inside of our application. So now that we've run Rails DBC, we are going to go into the console and then see if we truly have five articles and three videos. So I'm going to do post.count, which should give me eight. And then I'm going to do something like post.videos, which is something nice that delegated type brings to the table. If I do post.videos.count, I should expect to have three videos, which is what I have in my seeds RB. I can also do post.articles.count and I should expect to get five articles. So one of the best things that I like about delegated types is the fact that you can just call post.videos and then you'll get all the videos returned to you. Every video that is returned here is actually a video model. We can do the same with post.articles 
and then we can get a list of all the articles in our application. What you can do with this is you can easily pass this to a paginator and then have paginates just videos or just articles. Or if you want, you can just do post.all to get all of the videos and articles. So if I do post.all, you can see that here I have an article post. Let's see if we can find a video here. You can see on the last item, we have video post three, which is all good. Another thing you can do with delegated types is you can run specialized methods on your models. So let's see if we can try one of these methods here. We'll go into our console, type post.last. Post.last looks like it's a video, but we can ask it if it's really a video. So we can do post.last.video, that's a predicate method, and we should get a Boolean value. It's true, it means the last post is a video. What if we try to ask it if it was an article? Because we already know it's a video, we should expect that this will give us false. Does it work? Yes, it works. So the last post is a video. And these are some of the special methods you can get with delegated types that you cannot get with polymorphic associations. With this setup, we can easily paginate posts with an offset scheme on posts.all. We could achieve the same with a pure polymorphic relation, but with delegated types, we can get to enjoy the luxury of doing something like post.articles and post.videos without having to conjure complicated queries. Polymorphic associations are flexible, but less explicit. They can be associated with any model and in some cases require manual handling of type-specific behavior, while delegated types are explicit and type-safe. They clearly define associated models and provide better validation, callbacks, and query optimization. That's delegated types. Are you already using them? If so, drop us a comment down below. And if you want to know more, check out delegated types in the Rails guides. We'll share a link in the description. See you next time. And that's it. <sighs> okay. I'm sure the editor will be cutting a lot of stuff out.